The transmission assembly is a major component of your cordless drill. The transmission has a series of gears that increase the amount of torque the drill produces. The transmission has two torque settings and a selector to change between them. The clutch is adjustable and allows you to set it to cut out at a specific torque. This is helpful in driving screws to a specific depth. Over time, the transmission will wear and eventually fail. Often a failed transmission won't drive at all on one torque setting, but still work on the other. A failed clutch might not slip at all, slip constantly, or slip at a lower amount of torque than it should. Replacing the transmission and clutch assembly is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. I'll begin by removing the drill chuck from the drill. The chuck is secured with reverse thread screw. I'll remove it first. With the screw removed, now I'll chuck a large Allen wrench into the chuck. I'll make sure the gearbox is set to high. Now I'll place the drill on its side and I'm going to strike the Allen wrench with a hammer. As I do this, the sudden jolt from the hammer will break free the threads on the chuck so I can unscrew it. Now remove one half of the handle housing. As I remove the handle housing, I'll need to remove the right side brush holder. The motor and transmission assembly is held to the housing with a strap across the rear bearing. I'll remove it. And now I can pull this complete assembly away from the housing. Now I can remove the gear selector and I'll split the transmission from the motor. To do that, I'll grab the plastic housing on the motor side and the transmission. Then I just give it a twist and the two will pull away from each other. Now I can install the new transmission assembly. The transmission assembly locks to these two plastic tabs. You'll notice one is larger than the other. You'll need to have them in the proper alignment for it to lock into place. There's the larger tab so I'll line them. And once everything's in alignment, I give it a twist to lock it into place. Now this assembly is ready to go back into the housing. I'll place the gear selector back onto the wire on the transmission. As I place this assembly back into the housings, you'll notice that there's a series of posts that hold the field off of the plastic housing. There's one slot on the field that is slightly different from all the others, and that's the one that this wider post fits into, which is also different from the other posts. With everything in place, now I'll re-secure the rear bearing with the bearing strap. Now I'll place the right side brush holder against the left side holder. 
the right side holder has tabs to hold the two together. And I'll make sure that the wires are tucked out of the way so they don't get pinched when we replace the housing. I also want to make sure that the reverse lever is aligned with the post on the switch. And now I can reinstall the housing. I'll place the two sides of the housing together, aligning everything as I go. Make sure the reverse switch comes through the housing, and that the brush holder aligns with the housing. The housing should go together easily. If they don't, something is likely in the way or a wire is getting pinched. That looks good. Now I'll go ahead and secure just a few of the screws. With four of the screws in place, now I'll just make sure that everything functions. Oh, and it looks... It looks like the reverse lever fell off of the post on the switch, so I'll need to correct that. go. Retighten the same four screws. Give it a quick check again. That all looks good. So now I'll tighten up the rest of the screws. Now I can reinstall the chuck. Now I can thread the chuck back onto the spindle. I'll chuck the Allen wrench back into the chuck. And I'll just hand tighten it. Now I can replace the screw. I place the screw into the chuck and I'll tighten it up. Remember, it is a reverse thread. And now you know how to install a new transmission assembly in your cordless drill.